very blonde. The Rusty, milk, the milk, the milk of all milfs. In my absolutely, eyes. absolutely, you know, absolutely a strong yeah, milf, beautiful. as you would say. And uh, she, you know. She's perfect for that. There's James. James, James Mullinga. What a lovely <laughs> man. This is, he's been very loyal to me, man. I've had a lot of shit, a lot of people. This is fine. I get it. It's the game I'm in. But, you know, this this kid's a, he's highly intelligent um, journalist. And he's always, you know, stood by me, you know, and uh, kept the faith and wrote a beautiful piece about me in GQ. And, and uh, I really, really, you know, appreciate that, James. It means a lot to me. He, you know? he was mad to do uh, a, a bit of acting. And, he was, um, wasn't he? And I worked so with him because he's, this yeah, day, he? he was really excited. And I worked with him um, a lot, actually, because we were in Hush, uh, which is a, a restaurant that Jonathan had got. Um, this is the restaurant we're filming in now, Hush. Yeah, yeah Hush. Right. And um, Jonathan had got this as a location, and it's, you know, perfect for the scene. And But James, you know, really wanted to uh, to work. Did, we, we? we got down here at 6 a.m. to shoot this. It was really weird. We had to be out by 12. That's right. We had to bang. And, uh, and again, we achieved it, banged it So out. this scene was shot in probably about five hours. Um, which yeah. most films would probably get what a day, yeah, no, maybe if, two, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And um, but uh, I worked with James. I spent the time because his first line delivery got in there, and he was opposite Nick, and I think Nick was taking a piss out of him a little yeah, bit. Yeah, was, and yeah. I, I took James on, so well, I said, said you know, that I just got to work yeah. with him a little bit. And and what we got in the end was uh, pretty good, to be fair, considering he had. Well, I remember Nick struggled before. here because I, I think Nick's a bit of a fan of mine. So Nick and it was our first scene together and stuff. We sort of make similar films and. He could not get that fucking line out, could he, remember? Which the, one was it? The yeah, opening we did a line, the takes, opening line. We? I say, if you're still in that business, and he and said, no, his line is something like, I didn't recognise you about all your uh, army gear, or something like that. That's it, that's and he it. Kept, he, he kept swallowing it, yeah. which, was, which I found highly amusing. But uh, he's a good kid, Nick. He's a good kid, man. Good actor. This is the scene where we we take our, our movie into a little bit more of a movie world, you know? Yeah. We've, we have been quite... Um, realistic a little bit in terms of how we've how we've approached the tone, and this is the first scene where we get, you know, it's a bit of a bond moment. It's it's that movie where you go to get the tools that you need, you know, yeah. to do the the act. And I thought we don't really have a lot of places to have a bit of fun with Vendetta, yeah. so let's do it here. You know, this is the only. Place. We always made the decision to make me look really smart here as well, really slick and quite Bondish with the roll neck and the. Yeah, well, the, the idea there was the fact that we wanted, because you again going back to the mentality of being a realistic sass guy, they he he's gonna have that. I just want to watch this shoot. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Here we go. Mag change. Here's the mag change. Get on that. Slick. 